there, you beautiful people of YouTube. Thank you for joining us today as Nate and Carl do a walkthrough here at Paradise RV. Today we got a special treat for you. I don't know how special, but it is a treat. Uh, we got a 2020 uh, Flagstaff Microlite 22 TBS. Uh, stick with us and we'll go through it. start in the front as I normally do. Uh, I like the design of these micro lights. They're pretty cool. It's got like a little bubble. <laughs> a little bubble. Uh, and the, uh, the, yeah. Now Lance calls it the stargazer, but it's not, not everybody does. Uh, this nice little windshield in the front. It's pretty cool. Let's in a lot of natural light. Uh, it's tinted, so that helps. Uh, but here on this one, you also have uh, the extended propane tanks for extended camping. Uh, so these are the 20 gallon-ish ones. Uh, and then also behind you, you got your dual batteries. Nice. Uh, the, the battery case on the dual ones always makes me laugh, I don't know. Because I'm so used to seeing the single ones, which are just like little baby ones, and then these ones are like, boom, there's two in there. I don't know. I was expecting two battery boxes, not just one long one. Yeah, right? It's, it's odd looking. Anyway, uh, it works and it's great. Uh, I think it's a great design. So uh, you also got your power tongue jack up here in the front. So you got a uh, nice dark diamond rock guard uh, that'll bounce those rocks off so they're not denting your camper. Um, and then as we move along, you got your suitcase solar, which is pretty standard. So if you got some solar panels, you can hook up there if you're doing some off the grid type of stuff. And then in here, you got a good amount of storage. The cargo doors are a little small. I probably would have changed that, but uh, it's functional. So you got your weight and sway here. You got this cool little chrome grill that actually hangs onto uh, a little grill setup over there. And I believe there is a quick connect under there. So uh, it's nice. You got this giant awning with a cool little party strip. Uh, you got the hand grab. Thank you. Uh, so you're not tripping. So you go boom, boom. Let me see that again. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice transition. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you got the slip for the outdoor entertainment or your TV and it can plug in right here. Uh, there's your cable out. So uh, you can run cable to the outdoor TV if you want. Uh, I'm trying to see it. Yep. So back here, uh, they have the, uh, is where the uh, LP connect is. Sorry for snapping. <laughs> um, just habits. And then also you got the Torque Flex uh, rubber torsion suspension axles, uh, which are great. You see those in a lot of higher end uh, fiberglass sided uh, campers. So, especially on a Forest River. Forest River, big company likes to use those. You see them on the Slayers a lot. Uh, so on the back, uh, you got your spare tire, you got your bumper, you got a pre-mount for a Furion backup camera, so it's just plug and play. Uh, you got an outdoor shower, water heater access, and your refrigerator access. And then you got access to the roof for uh, your ladder. Uh, oh, forgot about this too. Uh, actually, I probably need something to take that off. But you got a hitch receiver, so you can put on a bike rack or something. Uh, it's a little noisy, so we'll go through this really quickly. You got your city water, your back flush, cable satellite. Uh, yeah, here's your back flush. And then I think this is your uh, potable water. So, you got more storage over here. And even more right here. So, this is actually your, your slide. Kind of bringing it a little old school, but this is your slide lock. Now, what do those do? Keeps your slide from moving in and out? Yeah. So in uh, transport, oh, here's your potable. I'll have to figure out what that other line is. Um, and then you just have more access to your, uh, yeah, to your storage over here. So uh, we'll go in and get out of the heat and away from the generator. If I can get that. Welcome to the AC. Oh. That feels good. 
<laughs> that it's, feels fantastic. Yeah, it's like 95 degrees out there with like 90% humidity. Gotta love Charleston. It's juicy outside. Oh, it's, yep. So, uh, yeah, the slide lock right here. Um, so that does help in transport and uh, especially if you're going long distances. <laughs> Don't know what that was. Uh, yeah, so it just helps keep your, your slide from flexing and moving in and out and different things like that. So uh, it's good to have. Let's, uh, let's go over the floor plan though. Uh, this is a very popular floor plan and popular model. It has a great setup so you can see this whole front turns into a king. That thing is massive. Right? Uh, and then you got your privacy in case you got the kiddos or you know whatever with you or uh, friends or the dog or whatever. Uh, but this will also turn into two twin beds. So great for if you sleep separately or uh, you upset the, the lady, which is easy to easy to happen if you're in my world. No, I'm kidding. I have a lovely marriage and Deborah loves me. Uh, most of the time. <laughs> no, if you're married, you know how it goes. So anyway, getting back on track, uh, you got your command center over here. So you got your slide controls, your awning, you got some, uh, or two options for water heater. So you got your gas or your electric. Uh, you also have a water pump. Uh, you have a Wi-Fi uh, ranger or it's Wi-Fi extender essentially. So you just scan that and you follow the instructions. Uh, you can turn it on right here. And then these are just lights. Uh, so yeah, right there is your control panel. So that battery is full, everything is empty. Cool. Um, then you got this wonderful kitchen space. Ooh. So you got the extra little thing, which is always cool. You got the dual sinks, which is nice. And your dryer thing, you set your, uh, clean dishes on top of here and it drip dries down to your sink instead of on the counter. Nobody likes wet counters. No. Uh, then you got your splash shield that covers your uh, three burners, burner stove. Uh, so yeah, you got your three burner, your light mechanism right there. You got a good size oven. It's like almost a full size oven as a big boy. Yeah, that's definitely noticeably bigger than what we're used to seeing around here. Yeah, typically they don't put uh, very big ovens in them. I don't know. You don't do a whole lot of baking when you're camping. Uh, yeah. So back here, uh, it looks like a wooden wall. It is not. It is actually your refrigerator. Nice. Yeah. So it's got the gas propane, uh, oh, gas propane, uh, your liquid propane, and your electric as well. So, uh, dual, dual power. And then you got a nice little wardrobe, where it can be a wardrobe or uh, just storage for spices, canned goods, dry things, etc. More camping gear. More camping gear, whatever you want to put in there. Um, yeah, but just tons. It also has a nice little dinette. Uh, this will also fold into a bed, which is great. Uh, and then you got your pull out storage underneath the dinette. So, let me show you the shower room. <laughs> the really grand nice. finale of every video. The grand finale. Uh, it's really nice. It's got the glass enclosure shower with the, uh, it's very clean. It's like the cleanest shower I've ever seen. Um, you got more storage. But we'll do the height test in it. The height, height test. I cannot talk today. It's the heat. It is the heat. It's throwing me off my game. I can't. Can't stay focused. I don't feel witty. Just muggy. Oh. I guess you can feel a little burned out. Exactly. A little soft. A little, a little soggy. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Got some stale chips. I don't know. You ever leave a bag of chips out in the humidity? I don't give them that chance. <laughs> it doesn't look like I do either. <laughs> Anyway, if you do, in my skinnier days, which used to happen, uh, it would get stale really quick. It would get, you know. Anyway, this is a great shower, people. Uh, you got plenty of headroom. Uh, it's glass enclosure. Boom. Oh. That was a satisfying click, and you almost locked yourself in there. I did. I was like, this isn't coming apart. Is it magnet? Um, and then, yeah, I think that's about it. You do have your max air vent right there, uh, which is always good. 
Always conveniently located right above the commode. This is what you need it for. <laughs> it's for steam and also venting out other odors. And other odors, yeah. yeah. You ever have grandma's chili while you're out camping? <laughs> That's why they make those exercise fans. It's for grandma's chili. Uh, yep. Let's bring this thing in for a landing, shall we? Before we both melt away. I'm pretty sure my brain is definitely on there. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but Carl is just with his hand over his face laughing, trying to maintain. Uh, thank you so much for joining. My name's Nate. Again, uh, behind the camera, you got Mr. Carl. Uh, we are Paradise RV. This is a great little unit, priced right. Uh, just has all the bells and whistles and cool little features that you want with a really great uh, floor plan. Check out all of our inventory at rvparadise.com. You can text, you can email, we'll respond to it all. Um, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.